Guys, naghihilamos yung pinsan ko sa baba. Tapos nandun ako, tsaka si Chubby, tsaka siya. Tapos tinanong niya ako kung, may, kung ako daw ba yun. Sabi ko, alin yun? Yung tumayo daw. Eh, nakaupo lang ako. <laughs> may naglakad daw katabik sa harapan ko. Tignan niyo, naghihilamos ba siya, oh? <laughs> hindi pa natapos na si Chubby. Naiwan namin doon kasi ako naman sabi ko, ah, hindi ako yun! <laughs> Dahil, oh, eh, ako si gawa ko. Tignan niyo, sila kayo nagising tuloy. Dito guys naganap yung eksena. Diyan ako nakaupo. Tapos sabi dito doon umano. Ah, tara na Chubs! Tara na, tara na. Kita tayo doon. Ayun na si Chubby. Tara na, tara na, tara na. Kaya mo ba, Andrea? Ay, ako gigising. <laughs> Ayun na, natakot na rin tuloy si Chubby. <laughs> Alas 12 na ng gabi, may nag-challenge sa akin. Puntahan ko daw yung lugar kung saan nagpakita yung madre dito sa bundok. So, paakyat tayo ng bundok ngayon. Pero parang hindi ko yata kaya. Kaya magpapasama na ako sa kapatid ko. Parang takot akong dumiretso. Baka bigla magpakita. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, kinikilabutan na ako. Ngayon pa lang. Oh my gosh. Tagal naman niya. Hala, hindi ko yata kaya. Takot ako. Uy, bilisan mo. Bilisan mo, kinikilabutan na ako. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, yung ko tumatayo. Parang piling ko may nakatayo na dun, oh. Ay, sumama si Hunyo. Hunyo, sasamahan mo ko? Hmm? Hindi ka na yung kasama ko. Ba't kasi yung mga challenge-challenge na yan, gusto ko tuloy talagang patunayan na kaya ko, eh. Pero hindi ko kaya mag-isa. <laughs> kaya nagpasama na ako. Oh my gosh, stop. Parang hindi ko kaya. Parang, parang piling ko may nakatayo dun sa... Uy, na to. Pangit, pangit pala pag may kasamang takot mo. Sabi ako na tatakot eh. Parang may nakita si Hunyo. Parang may nakita siya. O may nararamdaman siya. Hunyo, may nararamdaman ka. Nakabigyan mo yung mga. Punyo Ayan ah Totoo nga yung sinasabi nila Mas nakakatakot pag may kasama Ano yan? Ay motor Dito nakapark yung motor Ito parang hindi ko na maihakbang yung mga pa ako Di ba dito yung sinasabi nila May ano, lumulutang? Oo nga ah Parang hindi ko na maihakbang Uy, huwag ka naman na ako. Ano yan? Nakita mo? Oo. Saan? Saan? Puta ka. Ano yun? Ano yun? Kasi may nakita akong puti dun eh. Grabe yung balahibo ko. Oo. Tignan mo yung balahibo ko. Grabe yung balahibo ko. Kinikilabutan ako. Ma'am, maano na yung flashlight? Oo, nakawala na ng battery ha? Sige, there's it. Hindi ko na may akbang yung paako, tara na, uy, na, ayaw, hindi ko kaya. Cookie, nandito si Cookie. Hindi ko kaya. Hindi ko kaya. Hindi ko kaya. Hindi ko Ya 
grabe. Di ba kanina nawawala na ilaw ng flashlight? Ngayon malakas na naman siya oh. Hindi ko kaya. Hindi ko kaya. Yung palahibo ko grabe yung ano. Eh, ayaw ko na may kasamang takot eh. Kasi ako ay tatakbo. a lot of paranormal experiences throughout my childhood in fact one of them happened like right behind me but this particular story happened in the philippines my dad and mom built a house years ago about five minutes away from my mom's hometown this house is in the mountains there are like no street lights it's pretty out there many of my family members have had experiences in this house let me say that the way this house is set up is there's three stories. The second floor is like the kitchen, living room, and all that stuff. And then the third floor are all our rooms. But the ground floor is actually where my aunt and my uncle lives. So there was one day where my cousin and I wanted to go to the river. And I had asked one of my aunts. And she was like, yeah, cool, that's fine. Just ask your aunt and uncle, who, the ones that live downstairs if we can come with them because they were gonna go on their way there too. My mom is from a poor area in the Philippines, so we didn't have like a washing machine dryer in our house. We had to go down to the river to wash our clothes, which is what my aunt and uncle were gonna do. And so my cousin and I went to the ground floor, we were knocking on his door and it was unlocked. So we were like, okay, like we'll open it a little bit. And we kind of just shouted through the door. And the way it's set up is that on the other side of the door, there's the kitchen and the living room, but you have to turn a corner to get to his room, which is where he was. He was on the phone. It sounded like a serious phone call. And we, were, we called him like twice and he didn't answer. He was just talking on the phone. So we were just like, okay, cool. We'll just go by ourselves. My cousin and I walked our way down that hill to the river. We normally go with a lot of people or with an adult because it is like the mountains and even though no one's from this area, if there was a car that went by, they could have easily like snatched us and gotten away with it because no one would have seen and there are no like lights in this area. But who do we find when we get down to the river? My aunt and uncle were like knee deep in laundry and we were just like, what the hell? Like, weren't you not just on a call back at home? No, they weren't. No vehicles had passed when we had gone down that hill to the river. So we, there was no way they could have walked or driven past. And that's just one of the experiences I had. I think my aunt that lives in the ground floor has had the most experiences in this house because there was one time she, I saw her crying with, we had like a priest in the house and he was like spraying like holy water or something. Unfortunately, my aunt has never told me any of her paranormal experiences, but my cousin who lives in the ground floor said that there was one time she's heard giggling from like children in the bedroom, like jumping on the bed. There was another time I was playing hide and seek tag with my cousins and I was, we play it in pairs because it's scary going around this area on our own. And basically there's a second floor, there's a second floor exit that goes towards like the back side of the house towards the mountain area and i remember my cousin and i wanted to be sneaky we wanted to like hide outside but we turn the corner and we see this glowing white man standing there just standing outside it was pitch black at night when this happened and he was just glowing i saw the pants he kind of had like spikyish hair my cousin and I just looked at each other and we ran back inside the house. There was another time I was sleeping with my brother in the master's bedroom. One of my aunts was cleaning the third floor, which is where the bedroom is. And she said that my mom walked into the room. So like a couple minutes after she was like doing the cleaning, she followed her into the room and apparently my mom wasn't there. She just thought it was my mom because the lady who walked into the bedroom I was sleeping in had long like dark black hair there was another time we had like a family gathering in the second floor which is where the kitchen living room and all that stuff is and a family fa friend was around that gate where we saw that like glowing man she was there with like dishes and doing dishes and stuff and literally just randomly in the nighttime she screamed and ran back like into the house and obviously everyone was like what the hell just happened she said that there was a stick poking through like the topish area of the gate 
there's like a gate to get into the house and apparently there was a wood and stick that was poking through the gate at her but there was no one there and the stick like fell to the ground i don't know obviously as a family we've had many experiences in this house nothing tops my haunted doll experience when i was a kid but i don't even want to share that with the internet because i feel like it's so unbelievable but yeah i haven't been home in a while but this house really has stuff going on in there oh my gosh yes so I've lived in a ton of houses my entire life, but this was the first house that I ever remember living in. This was in Jakarta, Indonesia, and the way our house was set up was that it was a one-story house, but it was like very long. And at the end of the house, my parents' room was like a connected room to my brother's room, and then way down the hall was my room and the guest room. My mom has denied this story for a long time just because she didn't want to scare me when I was younger, but she did mention that I used to have so many nightmares as a kid and I was always scared of the glass, like, pane of a wall in my room at this house. So when this happened, I woke up in my bed. I don't remember if I was dreaming or anything, but I, I have a mosquito net over my bed and then I have a cabinet, like, this way. Um, with all my toys and then like that way I have my door and then back there is like the glass pane that my mom said I was scared of. All I remember is waking up, sitting up, and hearing a noise from like the cabinet with all my toys. It was a really faint noise because it was like a plastic cabinet. I really don't know how to explain this well but okay I don't know if I said push but I you have to pull like from the outside you have to pull. But from the inside, you have to like push a couple times to like open it. I don't know, there's like friction or something and that's what I was hearing because it was taking a second to like open. But I was sitting looking at this as it was happening and I could see the cabinet thingy like inching a little bit, like inching open a little bit. And then, oh my, I remember just seeing like a peach colored pillow poke through from the cabinet. And then it, there was like more pushing and opening and like another like peach colored pillow thingy poke through the opening. And then there was like a third like limb that was like poking out from under the two like peach colored ones. And then it just like opened a little bit more and pushed out. I know how crazy this sounds. If anyone else has ever had a sim similar experience, please tell me because I just remember it pushing all the way out and I saw that it was my doll. This doll, I think it's called like a Raggedy Ann doll. It's like the one with red hair. I had two of those. One of them is one of those where you can like push and it will speak and it was like, hi, I'm Raggedy Ann or something like that. But the one that pushed through was my like pillow one. So I don't understand how it could do that because you know, pillows are like flat. But this part is kind of like fuzzy in my memory, but I think I remember it standing and this is when I actually like could process what was going on and I had to like make my way out of my mosquito net, which is the worst possible obstacle in this scenario. But as I was getting out, it was taking steps. I know oh, it was literally taking steps like that slowly. I remember it slowly moving. I would estimate it got about a foot distance by the time I was running out the door. But this is like the worst part and the part that I remember so clearly in my head. I remember as I was passing it to get to the door, it literally looked up at me like that. And I ran, ran to my parents' room and I woke up in my parents' room like the next day. I know there are like poltergeists and you know, doll hauntings, but I've never heard of a walking doll in my life. I don't remember fearing like the glass window thing or I don't remember all of my nightmares exactly from this time. I do remember I'd have that like falling dream, you know, where you'd fall and then you kind of wake up. But what I do remember is I do remember being scared around my room and the guest room. There was some like weird energy th there and I remember feeling that as a kid. And anyway, the next day our like staff, cause I had like maids at the time and then there was like a security out front. They were checking out the area in the morning in my room. And yes, we threw out the doll. 
this is literally my craziest experience ever take it how you will but if anyone's had an experience similar like this or anyone else that you could like tag or anything i would love to know If you followed me in 2020 and 2021, you would probably know that I have a lot of ghost stories about our house here in Cavite and I have a new one to tell you guys. If you want to watch my old ghost stories, I have a playlist just for it. Me and our ate dito sa house, we're talking about how wala na masyadong nagpaparamdam dito sa bahay ever since we got cats because i don't know if you guys know this pero may kasabihan na cats are spiritual guardians and when you get a cat nababawasan yung bad energy sa house so ayun nga nag-uusap kami ni ate sabi ko ate grabe no wala na masyadong nagpaparamdam dito sa house ever since we got cats tapos sabi niya Actually, <laughs> sabi niya, mm, actually, meron pa rin, pero hindi lang sa loob ng bahay. She was saying na paggabi daw, may naririnig siyang sounds dun sa driveway. And yung sounds na naririnig niya is horse sounds. Yung tunog ng shoes ng horse kapag nagalakad sa pavement. So yung parang... Hindi lang isang beses niya narinig yun. It happened daw a couple of times. And consistent na yun yung naririnig niyang sound kapag madaling araw. So, ang sabi ko naman, mm, baka ano lang yan. Some sound, ganyan. Baka, you know, wala lang. So, yun, natapos yung kwentuhan na parang, ah, oh, nga, baka wala lang yun. Buti na lang may mga cats tayo. Wala na tayong nararamdaman dito sa bahay. Until, so, nung gabi na yun, yung lola ko, may bisita siyang brother. And, Inentertain niya sa labas ng bahay for around an hour or so. And this was around 6 p.m., 7 p.m. So, nung umuwi na si brother, pumasok siya sa bahay. Tapos sabi niya, Iggy, may kwento ako. I was like, ano po yun? And apparently, itong si brother, may dala siyang van. Ito yung van. Ito yung driver seat. Si brother yung driver. And yung lola ko, siguro, dito siya nang galing. Nung papunta siya sa driver seat, naglakad siyang ganyan. Tapos, may nakita siyang kamay sa window ng van. Nakaganto sa window yung kamay. So, yung lola ko, I don't know why, nakiganon din siya. So, ganyan siya. Pinrest niya yung hand niya sa window. So, ganyan sila ng kamay. So, naglakad siya, pupunta sa driver's seat kung nasan si brother kasi siya nga yung driver. Tapos, sabi ng lola ko, sino yung kasama mo? Yung girl, sabi ni brother, wala akong kasama. So, I'm like, girl, what do you mean? Sabi niya, lala ko, ah, okay. And then, umakit na siya. Tapos, yun nga, kinwento niya agad sa akin. Tapos, sabi ko, ano yung nakita niyo? Sabi niya, kamay nga daw na nakaganon. Yung parang, alam niyo yung pagbata, nakaganon sa window, yung nag-hello. Except, kamay lang daw yung nakita niya. Tapos, sabi ko, Hindi niyo ba tinignan kung sino yung nasa loob, kung may tao, ganyan. Tapos sabi niya, may tao pero walang mukha. So, narealize na lang niya na walang mukha nung nakipag-ganyan siya sa window. Mind you that this van is parked in the driveway kung saan may naririnig yung ate namin na sounds. Although, walang masyadong connect yung horse sounds. Pero, dun siguro may na-feel na spirits and dun exactly naka-experience yung lola ko ng ghost encounter. Ayun. So that's it. I will keep you guys updated if anything else happens. Kasi guys, my friend ako. Um, ano siya? Ay, hindi ko siya personal friend, pero parang friend sa FB. Tapos, <clears throat> nakita ko, so nag-story siya, ano, parang kaka-move in niya, ah, horror stories tayo yun, ano. So, kaka-move in niya sa new place niya, parang apartment yata, ganun. Tapos, tapos, ano, every time daw natutulog siya, um, wala, wala siyang, eh, ayun, normal, natutulog. Tapos, as in, nag-post siya, pinost niya sa story. The morning after she woke up, 
Ang dami ng scars sa likod. As in like, like, ganun. Eh, sino bang ano, magsascar ng ganun? Eh, siya lang mag-isa. Tapos, sa likod pa niya. So, ba diba, parang paano? Tapos, ayun, yung Bible daw niya. Parang, nahulog daw. Totoo, no, I'm not joking. Totoo to. Kasi, nagpost talaga siya. Tapos, ang dami ding na worry sa kanya. Tapos, ayun. Tapos, ayun, parang may mga narinig din siya ng mga boses pag gabi. Tapos, ayun, nag-story siya na parang, we'll, I'll keep you guys up to uh, po, uh, posted about anong mangyayari. Tapos, yun din, nung natulog ulit siya, is mas lumala daw yung scar niya pagka nung gabi, after that. Tapos, ayun, wala! Uy, baka ganito ako tapos. Uy, mamaya ay ano ako. Nagkakasleep paralysis ako. Pero grabe as in. To the point na she had, she has to ano talaga, schedule na na appointment. Na ano. Update mo kami if mayro bang nakatira sa, sa taas. Uy, dapat talaga pag wala talaga, ewan ko. Hahaha. <laughs> 